I have an announcement to make. It's that time again. And no, I am not talking about my period. I'm talking about it's time for another video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and I... don't know how to make intros for myself. As you can tell by the title of this video, which I have no idea what the title is because I don't know how to describe this video. Or if you guys watched my Instagram story a week ago, you guys know that I participated in a blind date for a local magazine. Now, I already went on this blind date and it was fun. The guy I went with was fun. Um, nothing wrong with the date. But there was a questionnaire that we had to answer before the date that will be published in the magazine. That way people can kind of get to know who the daters are. And I just wanted to share my answers to these questions with you guys because frankly a lot of these questions were pretty just just weird like stuff you probably would never ask anyone on a first date ever but you know let's just get to it <laughs> pre-date questionnaire um, started out very innocent, but when I read all the questions beforehand, I couldn't take this seriously at all, just because, well, you'll see. It just asked like basic information, like, where are you from? Where do you live now? What do you do for a living? Why are you going on this blind date for this magazine? What do you do for fun? What are you good at? What do you suck at? Again, it sounds very innocent at first. They asked, what are you looking for in a date, physically or otherwise? And of course, I had to answer honestly with this one. Free food, because I am a broke college student who spends her money very unwisely. My bad. But then they asked me, describe your brand of sex appeal in five words or less. Now, I don't know about you, I kind of got confused by this question. I didn't know what they were asking, like, do sex pills have certain brands? Like, I don't know. I like Victoria's Secret. Then they ask you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. Now, I don't know about you, but I consider myself a catfish <laughs> because in my pictures I can look like a solid 10 out of 10 but in real life I look like a solid 2 out of 10. <laughs> On a good day I am 10 from 10 feet away. Then they asked me to rate my personality. Obviously I'm a solid 6.9. What's your biggest fear? any traits that your date can exhibit that are deal breakers. They ask you like, fill in the blanks. I want my blind date to be blank and blank. When will the night end with a kiss or something more or something less? What's the most important thing in the world? Then they hit you with this question. How many people have you slept with? Now remember, this is being published in a magazine. This is stuff you don't even ask someone on a first date, let alone for thousands of people to read. And I mean, seriously, you can't take this questionnaire seriously when they ask you how many people you slept with. <laughs> so I put all of them. Just kidding. None of them, because I'm always woke. Get it? Because it's the opposite of sleep, woke, yeah. But what I really wanted to put, which I thought was a little bit too vulgar, was I'm a virgin, but my asshole ain't. 
Yeah, that's yeah, that's too much. It's way too much. That was the weird online questionnaire form I had to fill out. And I mean, <laughs> some of the questions on there are pretty weird and it's really hard to take seriously, but I guess of course it's a blind date. You don't take blind dates seriously anyways. I thought my answers were hilarious and I just wanted to share them with you. And yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, hit the big red button below and leave a comment. And um, did I already say like this video? Uh, if not, then like it again. Unlike it and then like it back again 10 times. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.